Hi foodies, it's your girl Jereen. How you doing? Today we're cooking some salt mackerel rundown. Now this is one of the popular dishes in Jamaica for breakfast time, but you can eat it whenever you want to. And it's mainly coconut milk that we're using in this dish. But let's start the prep. Stick around. So if you're not familiar with salt mackerel, once you go to the West Indian store or the Caribbean store and you ask for the salt mackerel, you're going to get the mackerel whole with the head, tail, everything. It is in a brine. Okay, so it is preserved and they do take out the, you know, all of the, the guts and stuff, but they leave the, the bones, the head and the tail. So what I do is I like to rinse it in some cold water you can use some vinegar or some lime and rinse it and drain it okay after that you can soak it overnight to get rid of the excess salt you don't want all the salt out just some or you can just boil it so re remember if you're not familiar with this you're trying to boil it because remember it is brined but you don't want to get rid of all the salt because that has the flavor all right that's gonna add the flavor so as you can see here the head is still on okay and some people cook the salt mackerel rundown with the head and the tail on but if you don't want it you can just use your kitchen scissors cut off the tail you can cut off the head okay it's all up to you okay If there's anything that you want to clean out that's left, you can use just a spoon. It, it's going to slide out so easy. Now as far as the skin, look at that. You can use a knife or you can use a spoon. Peel it all the way off or leave it on. Nothing's wrong with the skin, so it's usually up to the person who is cooking or eating it. All right, and then guys, there's some bones. See this? Very sneaky. So if you're not familiar with cooking salt mackerel, make sure you go through this and pick out all of those bones, especially if you're gonna be feeding the kids with this, okay? The adults, you know, sometimes we know how to work our way around, all right? So more salt mackerel. There you go, that center bone has a lot of flavor, guys. So I'll be honest with you, sometimes when I do the rundown, I take off those pointy pieces, but I leave the center bone to simmer in the rundown because of the flavor. I'm just going to be showing you again. Take your spoon or your knife, and this is um, a more close-up shot, see? It slides right off and you don't have to take off all of the skin or you can take off all the skin it is a choice it's just as nutritious and flavorful as the rest of the, the parts of the fish okay it is a choice so I want to let you guys know too that um, this is a combination of two times that I cooked rundown I'm gonna be showing you guys the traditional method and then another way that I do it okay there's my center bone I leave it in because of the flavor and the head too or I take it out it just depends on my mood all right if I'm doing some cook up salt mackerel I might flake the mackerel but for rundown I use some bigger pieces because it's gonna simmer so they'll break up anyway so this is the first way guys now you would add some coconut milk to your pot and you can use the whole coconut freshly cracked coconut um, or you can get the one in the can use what's convenient use what you can find so you bring it up to a boil and then you're gonna lower the flame so that it simmers now for traditional rundown you allow the coconut milk to simmer okay for a while okay so what happens is in the end the oil separates from the solids and then you get a curdling look and believe it or not that is what we actually want when we make it the traditional way 
Okay? That is why they call it rundown, because everything just boils down. See? The oil is separated from the cream. You see that? And that's actually what we want. At this point now, we will go in and add our other ingredients. And remember that these vegetables and seasonings won't take long to cook. And the fish is already cooked. Okay? So, we um, add these veggies and then we'll go in with the salt mackerel. I do find that when I use the freshly made coconut milk, the sauce, the rundown sauce curdles more because the canned ones, remember the canned coconut milk, even though it's delicious, there are things that are added to it to stabilize the coconut milk so it doesn't curdle and so it doesn't spoil. So I find that you don't get it super curdled like, you know, what we're used to the traditional way. But um, you do get some sort of separation of the oil from the cream. So you kind of still get that rundown feel. Okay. In we go with the salt mackerel. I'm just going to stir this in and let it simmer for a little bit. Because remember the fish is already cooked. Okay. This is so good guys and look at this see the oil is over there and then the little curdly mixture over there that is how rundown looks but if you use the other one the freshly made coconut milk you'll see it curdle even more so you'll get that curdling look that we would see when our grandmas and our mothers made it for us as kids and this goes well with green banana and dumplings so many things you can have it with but this is what I had it with that day. And it's so delicious. It's such a simple dish. But the flavor is amazing. So this is the other way now I'm going to show you guys. So this was a whole nother day. I just merged the videos for you guys. So remember traditionally run down. You're supposed to cook down everything. Alright. Now with this method you're just going to saute these. So we've got some um, vegetables, some seasonings here. We're going to saute these in coconut oil and then add some other, add the other ingredients. Because the thing is, some people love the flavor of the coconut, you know, that the rundown gives you, but they don't like the the boil down method which is a traditional method where the oil is separating from the cream and it looks curdly so some people actually do it this way right I do it either way and um, so you saute these to get some flavor in going in that pot and then we will add the other stuff
so with this method guys we don't allow it to boil down until you see the oil separate from the solids okay you just let it simmer for a while just to you know develop that nice flavor and then we are going to be adding the mackerel and some more seasonings So you just let this simmer for a little bit and once it gets thickened that's it you're done so this one has more of a saucy feel than the traditional curdled separated look both of them are absolutely delicious it's just that the traditional way you boil it down until you see the oil separating from the solid so tell me, which way do you prefer? The traditional way where you boil it down or this way where you have a bit of a thick, rich sauce? Tell me what you think, guys, in the comment section below. And remember to check out the description box with some notes and some other links. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.